Hey everybody, I'm Lynette, I'm the navigator. Now take us home. It's not Lynette's last watch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Another hour, hour and a half, and Lynette can take us home. Start taking us yeah. home. Come up a little faster. This is my last dive of the season, though. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. Then what do you do? Then I go back home, I'm starting veterinary school. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. That's a lot. Are you back as a mapper? Um, yeah, next season, right. um, but not this season. I mean, next wow. season, hopefully. Nothing's decided yet, but. Yeah. Right. Putting it out there. Just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Next season should be interesting. Samoa and Palau. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to come next year. Cool. I'm coming. I don't care. <laughs> Even if they don't invite you. Yeah, you guys not. need any more uh, <laughs> data loggers, scientists? Yeah, okay. we can reunite the NA153 team. Nice. Yeah, it's a good I mean, team. It's not up to me. But team assembled. Bring the team back. Are you listening, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go to Jarvis. Jarvis is a seven day transit, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But well, but then we end in American Samoa, so it's quicker. I mean, technically, uh, if you put all of our transit time together, we probably got pretty close, right? We're about a week oh, yeah, away from that hurricane, oh, yeah. running from that yeah. hurricane. <laughs> and then Greg. If it wasn't for Greg. I had such high hopes for Greg. Just kind of pittered out. Yep. Do you guys remember last night when... We were pretty tired, and I hallucinated that the laser dots were something. <laughs> <Yes>. of <laughs> Did it confuse you that they were so like precise? Like maybe they looked like little together, floating. They moved together. They were like like little floating green orbs. I was like, oh, what are these? And then I realized I was <laughs> Coming overtired. <laughs> yeah. Is that a green anemone? <laughs> hallucinating on watch. It's like following us. <laughs> no. Can we get the lasers? Oh wait. <laughs> Can we measure the distance between those two green orbs, please? Ten meters. Um, Dwight, there were a lot of questions in the chat last night about just this particular area. I know some of the scientists ashore asked us to explore it. Was there... Oh, you mean the, the one we did the dive on? Or uh -huh. Yeah, this one that we just um, finished our dive on. I think it was like yeah. we had a meeting and some people were asking us to come to this area. Was there a reason specific for it? Uh, put me on the spot. Sorry, I really Dwight. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> remember a meeting we had six months ago. No, there's right always now. little sort of gaps in our uh, um, you know, database. So I think that we chose this site because it was on the on the ridge that hasn't been dove on before so okay. we had samples from the north part of Sculpin Ridge and we had samples from the south part of, of Sculpin Ridge but nothing from the middle so when you're looking at these sort of um, elongated large seamount features um, the question is did it was it one huge volcano or was it separate separate volcanoes and so that hopefully some of these rock samples we can get age dates from and that can help tell us the story of how this ridge or seamount feature formed. And uh, I think that's the primary recollection. The biologists are always interested in filling little data gaps too. Uh, when we have samples from like the north and south ends of ridges to look at connectivity in between. And it turned out to be a great dive, right? Yeah, it was good. Very steep section to it. Well, you guys were on that wall last night probably, Yeah, right? last night it was straight up. Yeah. Lots of rocks. Leela said you made good progress, probably fastest progress on your watch so far. Yeah, there weren't any real say? stars. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say about our normal progress? Zoom too much. <laughs> no. It was because there was no brittle stars. And, uh... What are you saying? Lack of, uh... Oh, lack lack of montage footage? Lack of montage footage. Oh, of the ophiroids falling? Yeah, we found quite a bit of, uh, sticks, though. Yeah, the sticks were good. Yeah. <laughs> were they? We weren't allowed to pick them up. We weren't allowed to get the bones or whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> like they were noted. Golden retrievers in the front row. 
Only interested in bones and sticks. Stock, sticks, and bones. stick, stone, bone. As opposed to rocks. Corals. Sponges. Lobsters. I oh do my. like sponges. I learned a lot about sponges on this trip. I didn't know much about them. But they're very no, slow down, uh, diverse looking. Please. All kinds of different shapes and sizes. What was your favorite thing that you guys saw on all of our watches together? Uh, I think the sponges. Uh, yeah, honestly, awesome. I think it was that forayed sponge that we were saying looked like a Papa's on chair. The cloud, yeah, the cloudy sponge. That one was so beautiful. A spit of scopulia. That one dive we were going spire to spire on the top of those. That was yeah. the same sponge that dive, right? That was really cool. Yeah, polyopagopolis. Poly uh, from That's a navigation right. standpoint, that was my least favorite dive. Yeah, I can <laughs> see that. I can see that. Uh, umbilical goes up. It's, <laughs> it's all fine. You guys are all I worried mean, for nothing. If it goes up more than the spire, great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Straight up from Adelanta. As we, But hey, as we know, boulders come up out of nowhere. That one tourniquet, uh, tourniquet thing was kind yeah, of crazy looking. Yeah, that was, was awesome. You guys really did good. such a good job collecting that. Everyone at home was like on the edges of their seats. I was getting people texting me with like memes of, um, uh, was it the John Stewart eating popcorn, like staring intently? Like. <laughs> was it? The, were you all talking about that tourniquet? The yeah. tourniquet collection, yeah. yeah. That was, that needs to go down in the Hall of Fame. People that was were, amazing. People going around and be like, oh, can I breathe now? Can I breathe? Yeah. Uh, you're at home. <laughs> Anytime you want. You can do whatever you need to. It's okay. There was a moment of concentration there. I didn't blink for like two, two or three minutes. And Did I was your eyes hurt? Yeah, my eyes were hurting because I was just like trying not to. I was too focused. Like my eyes started hurting. Speaking of specimens, we've got a really interesting question. I think they might have answered it on the last um, watch, but I just wanted to see what you all think. If you were a squat lobster or a coral, how would you prefer to be sampled? <laughs> <laughs> tenderly. 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 Uh, Gently. I'm on my way out. On my way out. Are, would you rather go <laughs> yeah, in the bio right, like, or slurped? <laughs> on my way out. It's kind of fun to get um, slurped, but probably worse for my suffering. Yeah, it's like a ride. Suffering. Yeah. I would definitely say slurp because there's a chance you could hold on in the tube. Oh, yeah, you like, know, the, like that one lobster? Like like that one we had? Backwards. Yeah. And, then, and then you confuse everybody up top and you might get away. Yeah. Man, I don't want to think about that too hard, though. <laughs> well, I think with the coral, I would probably like to be snipped just a little bit at the end so that I can regenerate and grow. Like, like a trim. Yeah, just like a haircut. They got a starfish this morning, a sea star, and it was not happy about leaving the rock it was on. It was I heard longing. it was kind of a brutal, a brutal collection. <laughs> yeah. We got it. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> parts slurp parts one. of it anyway. <laughs> we used to be able to do uh, like like uh, with the get a lot more samples with the with the slurp because the uh, slurp had like a metal end. Right. So you could kind of like kind of scrape and slurp. Yeah, that was probably a lot easier, actually. Yeah. It should have, a, like, a little lip on it that's metal, maybe. Yeah. It seems like fairly small. I think it's a small combination of things, because there's less suction, too. Yeah, it's well, like small well, diameter well I, I never had to go to 100. So I was right. usually hanging around 40 or something like that. I know, but, like, but, it, but it I also don't know how. Until 40%. Michael, you yeah. should always give 100%. 110, like. Well, I got to save it for, like, when I really need it. You know? I gotta save that sixty percent for like the end of the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh. Uh, but yeah, we can't. We don't do it anymore because we have the plastic end. That way we can see what's inside, which has been a lot of help for seeing if things are actually in the slurp before you let it go. What else? Oh, you know the collection that was pretty impressive. The 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 fly. The flyby. The flyby squat lobster? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was that pretty was good. good. I'm going to count it even though I don't think we got, like, I it don't know if we made it into it. the jar, but. No, we ended up getting it. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. oh yeah. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, then it counts. Then it then counts. counts. It got in the tube and then kind of got blocked up with some stuff that had been blocked up before it, but. Eventually it came in. We, yeah, we were still able to get it as a sample. Cool. Nice. That was pretty slick. Yeah, that was one of my prouder moments. Mine was the, when I actually got the, the fossil. The bone? Yeah, that the was bone. smooth one. That was smooth. That was most, the smoothest one I've ever done. Grab, bump, doom, all one fluid motion. I'd never done that. I, probably because I wasn't thinking about it. That was pretty slick. Just do it. Do you Just tend do to it. overthink when you're trying to collect? Uh, there's a there's that thing. Not really, it, but when I... when. Uh, some, when when uh, I start getting disoriented because like I move one way and it's and it's going the other way and then I can't like register for some reason like no it's going the yeah and then I start overthinking it. A lot of screens in front of you to be paying attention to as well. Yeah, well I forget about this one, the bubble sometimes. Can I make a confession? I don't know what you mean when you guys say bubble. <laughs> the bubble cam right here. We want the gauges. It's on the gauges right now. Oh, okay. See, because we it's can go here. What makes it the bubble cam? It's we, in a bubble. It's in a bubble. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's a three sixty. It's, it's in a semi. Ooh, that is disorienting. It's in like actually. a half hemisphere. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's. You can I try not you to can look point at, at it. the tip of the manipulator and stuff. You know, where those yeah. zoos can't really see it sometimes. So yeah, when it comes to the arm, like sometimes if, if things go around, I'm locked here inside, but I forget that I can like index it and move it around. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm stuck. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Cause it's like the raccoon, you know, when it's in the trap, it won't let go of the thing. It forgets that it can still get out. You come up a little faster. Oh, speeding things up. Do you guys want to hear the final shrimp count of the whole expedition? Sure. Yeah, but I think that it's probably a large. 432. Yeah, That's wait, so yeah. close. 451 shrimp. Wow. wow. <laughs> wait, we should have guessed. We should have done prices right rules. Yeah. Oh, I forgot Aww. this. Uh, uh, R.I.P. Bob Barker. I won. This morning. I won. Was that Leela? <laughs> you no, still guessed below me. One dollar, Bob. <laughs> oh. 451. That's wow. a lot of shrimp. That's really? We only did like. Oh, I know. Guys, I yeah, think. I just saw that. We yeah. saw some that were like the size of a small puppy last night. Massive shrimp. Those shrimp last night know. were gigantic. I think they should count for double. I'm not sure. 453 then. Yes. Um, question in chat If you were Herc preparing to launch, what would your comment be? Not now, I'm sleeping. Or, oh boy, here we go again. Uh, it, would be, uh, it depends on what dead. time it is. <laughs> I think this is the second one, though. Oh boy! Woohoo! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> In your head forever now. That's what I do. I, I, I sing songs to things that are happening right now. Do you have a song for us? Siphonophore. Oh, not a No, it's usually in the moment. That was really fast. Oh, sorry. Oh, like when the one. motor died and stuff like oh, that. Oh, there's one of those. Too late. All right, so we have a praying, we see a whale, a shark, or something on this ascent for this last dive. Thank Fingers you. Crossed. I hope so, too. We love that energy. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Whale. Can you just tell us straight a, a fish or something for it? Yeah. Draw, yeah. draw a whale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we saw a whale. Anyone speak whale? Mm. I like the part in that Natalie and Bruglia song where she does the whale songs. Torn. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> but no. I really enjoyed that right no, now. Can you, can you do it again, though? <laughs> well, we'd probably have to play that song. Um, but there's a part where, like, I don't know, some synthesizer or something, like, goes, doo, doo. There's a whale in Nemo, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's a fish who speaks whale. Dory. 
And a bunch of really dumb seagulls. That's the best. Oh man, we should uh we should get a theremin up in here. A theremin? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be perfect for all the weird well, stuff. That, that'll you that'll pair nicely with your throat singing. <laughs> <laughs> a what? A, a theremin. theremin. Is that an instrument? Yeah. Yeah, it makes those like weird like Star Trek it, noises. Yeah. Like, wah, 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 wah. It's a it's a it's, it, no, it's a it's an instrument that doesn't require you to physically touch it. Yeah, it's like a it's a it's based off your uh, based off of uh I'm looking it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can look it up. up. You it's use your hands in, in the air. No person alive has ever played it. That's not true. There's like there's some impressive people out there. Leon Theremin. How though? How does it Electromagnetism. Electromagnetism and magic. Lots of magic. Does it sound good? Uh it sounds okay. It sounds <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like, you know, a weird futuristic the original they put Star it in Trek the, theme? They put it in Star Trek because like, it seemed futuristic and stuff like that. But yeah, it's very. It was invented in the it's a very synthesizing. Because it's actual current, and what you're messing with is the frequency of the current going through a speaker or something like that. See, that sounds like it would sound like the um, like the Internet Explorer connection sound. It's no. like dial up modem. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> no, that's not it at all. <laughs> no, it sounds like the original Star Trek theme from the 60s. Isn't that the instrument they I used? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. I haven't seen Star Trek from the 60s. This oh. is. I'm trying classic, to read this. Operating show. principles, and this is all... Uh, the theremin uses the heterodyne principle to generate audio signal. The yeah. instrument's pitch circuitry includes two radio frequency oscillators set below 500 kilohertz to minimize radio interference. One oscillator operates at a fixed frequency. What are they talking about? The one oscillator. That means the one on the like one of the oscillators operates at a fixed frequency. Yeah. The frequency of the other oscillator is almost identical and is controlled by the performer's distance from the pitch control antenna. Yes. So so you're basically getting the closer you get and the further away you get. De determines its pitch. The performer's hand has significant body capacitance. That's a word I've never heard before. Mm -hmm. And thus can be treated as the grounded plate of the variable capacitor in an LC inductance capacitance circuit. Yes. Okay. That I'm. <laughs> it's a, it, I can't. No, okay, it's can it's you wrap your head around this right now? <laughs> it's, a, it's basically. Um, okay, so your phone, your touch screen. Is a is a capacitance type circuit uses the same type of capa body capacitance. That's how it knows where you're at, because every little section of the uh, of your phone is at a different voltage, is at a different like resistance and stuff like that. So it's a similar thing to that. So it knows where you're at in in the air relative to it. So it's a nerd instrument. So it can get into things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like if you you know, but talking yeah, details yeah. isn't necessarily. I could. I just read the Wikipedia page. That's just the Wikipedia page. Yeah. Um, but no, it's clearly written by an electrical engineer, so I understand yeah. the. Oh, do you know when people when people are singing and they're like they're like ah uh, ah uh, they're doing stuff like that? It's like that, but <laughs> just on a just on a box. Uh huh. It's yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I guess you're changing your voice box frequency. Yeah. Oscillating frequency. So. It's really a horrible sounding instrument. <laughs> Actually, no, because of the way you can like. You can add things to it and makes it sound pretty cool. Hey. Whoa, Whoa, there it is. Got it. I manifested it. That's, that's, that's a, a jelly. cool jelly. I don't care. <laughs> Look how cool it is. I got a good we picture of it. Dumbos. It's okay. I'll take it. That was cool. You're welcome. Something. Too bad it wasn't in Herc's camera. I would have followed it for a minute. I can follow it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Go back down. Nope. Go don't. back down. Uh, oh, 0.5 meters. So. There it is again. Is There's, that it? Um, no. Uh, that's something different. Something different. Oh. We have a very nice can chat. We, um, can you slow down, please? Thank you for your dedication and sharing your knowledge with us. And to the future veterinarian, good luck. You go, girl. Yay, Lynette. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The chat has been so kind. They were helping me work through my hiccups at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so many nice messages out there. We appreciate it. <laughs> I bet all sorts of... Uh, 
solutions. Sorry, can you speed up? Yeah. Yeah. I was about Peanut to say. Butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my mistake. 100% my Did mistake. Did you try them all? No, that's okay. I didn't um, catch it. I was I like. I think I just kind of sat there for a minute. <laughs> Wait a second. It, that number's getting worse. <laughs> My favorite stand on your head and drink a glass exactly. of water. Exactly, I was like, down. I'm gonna turn the mic off so I can stand on my head for a minute. No, you gotta remind yourself you're not a fish. <laughs> Layla was that like, is, we gotta see something that, that scares you. That is what it comes you. from. Yeah, it's it. it yeah. You know, one of the prevailing theories right now is that hiccup is, is a is a remnant gasp from our gilded days. Oh, nice. That's what they did there. Gilded days. <laughs> it does. Uh, yeah. Our gilded so days. Like theory. you're gasping. Yeah. Really. So just remind yourself you're not a fish. So it's a mind thing, you think? Yes. Hmm. I'll give you 50 bucks if you get like one more time. Thing. Oh, God. I know it's hard with all this blue water to remind yourself you're not a fish. <laughs> What's our total sample count? Do we get past 200? 453. Uh, let's see, we ended on no. sample number. I think it's like 150, 160. 215. I was going to say, if you say 199, we're pulling an ISKIN right now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 215. <laughs> okay. So what were, what were we at before this dive? I think we started at like 193 or something. Oh, nipple jelly. That's what it says on the board. Yeah. So actually, we got quite a number of samples on this. How much? Uh, let's see, 215 minus 93 plus 1, because we're including 93. 20, 22. We'll call it Hard 20. to believe, based on what we saw in our first watch, that there was enough stuff to take 22 samples of. But yeah, really. Yeah, yeah it was pretty sparse. Uh, a lot of rocks. This is kind of fun, just seeing all the things that are swimming by. All the things. We've still got 727 meters to go, so you never know what we're going to find. Get the wet lab packed up. Get the ROV packed up. What do you guys have to do to the ROV? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I'm used to a flyaway system where we have to yeah. literally tear everything apart. Um, I don't know what we have to do here. I know Little Herc is coming on board for the next one. Right? Yeah. Um, so I don't know if we have to probably not the help Probably not the that. first dive, though, so it'll right. you won't do tethers or anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. Give it a good wash. Yes, we'll yeah, do our sure. normal, normal post our, dives, our normal you know. Post dives, which include a good and wash. Then we'll probably make sure everything's good to go, secure for sea. Yeah. And then once we get to bring it in the hangar. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. No, I like I like the hangar space. You know, that's where I could do all I my know. all my dance moves and stuff. <laughs> 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 we like to do ours in the sample processing lab. Yeah, but there's not a lot of space in there. We'll put you on camera later. <laughs> we usually are on camera. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop over. worrying about the it. The ROV <laughs> hangar isn't too often, but there is a camera in there. Yeah. <laughs> I cover it with a towel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, like, a, yeah, so like you said, um, I it's a full work day when we get back. So I think uh, other than, like, stores, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's always fun. Um, yeah, just bringing on a little hurt probably. Spare parts. Yep. Burned out a few things, I think, this trip. I do know that we're probably, we might be sending in uh, one of the motors to get dried yeah, we have by to a take company. One, we have to take the other one apart so that they can take the stators. Yeah. Um, we have to flush it, I think, because I'll no, drain it, drain gonna it. Flush it. We're going to drain it. Yeah. That's what I meant, that's what I meant. Yeah. we got to drain it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, send that in chip away at the list of things that have been neglected. Yeah. Zinks. Try to bring uh, 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 the tiki or get a new tiki. Oh, because, uh, I, you know, it's just a Can't hypothesis. Tiki but without a tiki. Uh, it's, it's my hypothesis that that's one of the reasons why, you know, that's Greg got in the way. I hear you. Motor got in the way. I didn't even know Greg was a thing. Greg was never a thing. No. Okay. It never really was. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Did this happen Greg. and I, nobody told Greg. me? 
Yeah. It's like, oh, here comes Hurricane Greg, and we're all like, oh, no one's afraid of a Greg, yeah. and then it just kind of pittered out. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like the one a couple of years ago in, a, uh, in the Atlantic, Gregory. That one was a little bit more forceful. <laughs> Meant business. A little bit more professional name, yeah. Gregory. Um, someone in the chat just said that they played the, I don't want to say the name wrong, Leon Theremin. Theremin. They just played a YouTube tip about it. The pre Preschoolers will love it. Thanks for sharing about this unique instrument. Oh, I don't, I don't recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> I, never I do not, that. I do not recommend noisemakers to anyone under like eight. I can play it by moving. Yeah. <laughs> All kids love noisemakers. Yeah, it's a, uh, from what I understand, it's a very hard instrument because it's very precise. Um, and it's and very abstract, like yeah, and it, there's no, you're not, there's no, uh, it's not like a guitar, where you, where it ha like a, you know exactly where to push down to get a note. It's not like. Um, it's kind of like different every time. Yeah. Or fluid. It's not like you can get a sharp C. Yeah. Or not a C sharp. It's just like, like there's no like there's no visual form of reference other than literally your muscle movements. Yeah. Cool. Well, and the sound you're making. And the sound you're making. Yeah. It's yeah. It in my opinion, it's it, my opinion is like the phys like it's as close as you can get to like a physical form, like a a, a, a sure. physical form of singing, because like, kind of like when you're when you're singing, you have like a, you know, it's all it's all just muscle, right? You can't necessarily see where you're trying sure, to get to your thing. As someone who I've uh, been playing piano for a long time I can tell you I don't really look at the keys after a while it, yeah it's more of a sound thing oh is it a sound thing or a muscle memory thing it's both um uh, oh, wait. Piano, maybe songs piano, maybe songs that I've been playing for a while it's a muscle memory thing but um a lot of times I just kind of sound out the songs I want to play so it's I don't know it is more of an audible thing for me Oh, you mean when you're playing, you're just kind of like, oh, and I like don't really figuring like this, out. The keyboard on board here is is different because the keys <laughs> light up, and it's like that's nice. I don't literally close my eyes, so it's distracting. But I'm not like f focused on looking at what keys I'm pressing. Uh, I unless get what you Unless I'm actively learning a new song. I get you. I get you. You kind of get yourself situated, and then, then you're kind of listening. More feel and, and sound. You're, than, and you're yeah, yeah. You're knowing. Yeah. You know how far the keys are. They tend to be the same. So you're yes, just going. They're all the same. Yeah. James, you're an excellent piano player. I was very impressed. And oh, well, thank I you. always think about, like, you know, all the parents out there, all the millions of hours that we spend taking our kids to lessons. Was there something specific for you that you think helped you stick to it? Um, like, did someone force you to go to piano? My dad forced me to play the piano when I was a kid, and I hated it. I never wanted to go. I never practiced. I never, I never wanted to play. And then I picked up a guitar when I was a teenager and I played that for, well, I still play guitar, but um, I think as I got older and just like the stress of life kind of sunk in instruments, playing music is a really good release. You don't nice. really have to think about life, you know, for that short bit of time that you're playing. You know, you just are, you, know, you just, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. I'm really debating whether I want to force my kids to play an instrument. Um, when I hear, like, it, it would probably have been better for me. It was just like, it doesn't help that I had ADHD, but like, from what I understand, it's a lot easier to get kids to get into an instrument if one, they're the ones picking the instrument that they're like, uh, they don't, that they're drawn to, and then making it a thing that they, that they get to do rather than something that they have to do. Yeah, I think it's the whole practice thing, right? Like, yeah. It's yes, like no kid wants to practice. Every day, 15 minutes, you have to practice, and they'd rather play outside. Yeah. Yeah. I think another part of it was, like, I was going through the royal conservatory levels of music, and wow. it wasn't, like, it wasn't playing music I wanted to. It was classical. It's a humble brag if I've ever stuff, heard right? I know. I was <laughs> like, the <laughs> royal <laughs> conservatory? What, a, what is going on? It wasn't on? a brag, because it's really boring stuff. It wasn't, it didn't engage me. It didn't make me want to play. Was your dad a musician? Um, my dad can play, but is self-taught all by ear. Oh, interesting. And um, that's how I am with most of, with every other instrument that I've played. So, did your dad want you to specifically play piano because he had done it, or did he? You have a choice on the instrument. I, 
Uh, he wanted me to play the piano uh, more because I think it was because you know his parents didn't really have the money to give him lessons. No. They got an old piano given to them by a, I think it was a school actually. Um, so he kind of played at home. And uh, I am glad now that he forced me to do it. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it seems like a hobby I wish I had done. It's a bit of a tough hobby. Pianos aren't really mobile. True. Yeah. They also, it's not like a guitar where they, you know, a guitar fills a room with sound, but a piano fills a house. So it's, you know, you kind of kind of have to pick your times. And if you live in an apartment building. There's no yeah. way to slump around, like, Slip away and play with the piano. No, I bought it. Well, I bought a digital one, so I yeah. plug in headphones. Yeah, but like proper. It was expensive. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, last year, because like like you said, I was a self-taught. Like, I've never taken in lessons on anything, and then I so I pick it up and I drop it and I play all the noises. I, I play all the noises I want to hear, all the sounds I want to hear. You know, that I'm like, oh, this is nice, but nothing like dedicated. Uh, and I play a few songs or whatever. Uh, but last year I decided to uh, to be like, you know what? No, I'm, I need to take lessons. I need to stick to it. I need to have like a like a, a schedule and like someone actually telling me what I'm doing ro like wrong and what so I don't develop bad habits. Sure. Yeah. So I picked cello. Oh, I love the cello. Nice. And uh, I've been doing it for about a year. How's it going? I had to cancel it because I was coming out here and it was getting expensive. They just bumped it, but it was it was fun because like I was I was playing for at least. I would have at least an hour, which was practice, right? Uh, which was my practice time, and then I would have I would try to shoot for another couple hours during the week. You know, it's just kind of hard because I had school and everything. Yeah. Um, it would only, but I kept telling myself it would only get easier once I'm done with my courses and stuff like that because there's more time. I will say any bowed instrument, any like string bowed instrument, that's a hard learning curve to get past because it sounds so bad when it's yeah. bad. <laughs> the cello actually is one I can handle though. Is my, it? my daughter was taking cello lessons and, and f for some reason that played wrong doesn't bother me as much as like a violin. It's because it's deeper? I played, I played yeah. piano for a little bit and I even I couldn't even listen to myself <laughs> play piano. <laughs> yeah. Like wait, this wait, is hurting wait, my ears so much. Ago. <laughs> I, can't, I can't play piano because I learned the the keys from from when I was in percussion. So I I play with mallets, like I'm on the marimba and stuff like that. So like that's all it is. I, yeah, I know, but I can't I can't I I just chicken pick it. Did you say you play the marimba? You know what I mean? I can't I can't I can't tell my hands to do this because I learned it to do it just one at, like two at a time. Interesting. Does you that make sense? You have ten little mallets. You would think. I could, do, I, which is weird, because I could do like, and then I could do like two in each hand. The actual hand. piano is a mallet on a string, right? Yeah, but like, I I understand that. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but it's just hard. But yes, I, yes, marimba. I know how to play. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that was something that was uh, that? that was in band. The na that's the national instrument of Guatemala, right? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I also know how to play the vibraphone. That one's fun. Is this a salp chain or a siphonophore? Ooh. It's a long one, huh? Maybe it's we're just zoomed in. Oh, oh, I think it's a... Uh, no, it's pretty long. Maybe we are zoomed in, but uh, we're going to lose it as we're going up. That's okay. We get, we get what we can. Viewers love how excited you get, James, about these and always... That is very cool. On. What's that on the head? I can't tell if it is the siphonophore or not. Ah, uh, we're lost. we got to go. Don't worry. Um, goodbye. I, re I respect you all sticking to those instruments. I, I was trying to learn to play the mandolin when I was in college. and I know how to play the mandolin. You do? Yeah, I have one. It's hard, though. It's hard because the, like, the, str the strings are very hard. Like, they're just like taut. Yeah. And like it's harder. It's harder to push to two two strings at a time. That's the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. Being from Kentucky, we love bluegrass music, and I was like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I was listening to a lot of Nickel Creek, and I'm like, I'm oh, doing it. Oh yes, I love Nickel Creek. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm picking it up. And then a couple of years later, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go to the banjo. <laughs> oh nice. Can yeah. you play the banjo too? Yes. Jeez, you are multi-talented. Well, well no, it's, it's not. A, not as, like I said, it's not as impressive as it sounds because like I just play the noises I want to hear. Yeah. I don't necessarily like you know go out there and perform or <laughs> and like I, I wouldn't even call myself intermediate on any one of them. I'd be borderline at that. 
uh, on any one of them, which is why I chose the cellos because like it's rigid. I could be like, I need to uh, commit to one, and that's why I was just wanted to take lessons and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's a, it was I picked it up relatively easily. I How long did you take lessons? Uh, about a year. Yeah, okay. a little bit over a year. So about a like two a month you still have after a year. Yeah, one of the reasons why I chose cello is because it's so expensive to buy an instrument. I can't just go out and buy one. I mean, I could, but like it's kind of hard to justify. Whereas a guitar, a banjo, I can spend a couple hundred bucks, and then yeah, and then I can and pick it up and drop it. buying a cheap out. instrument is if you do excel at it, you're gonna want to replace it. Yeah, so uh, a cheap a cheap uh, cello still costs like you know a thousand dollars. So you rented it? So yeah, I'm renting. renting. Yeah. I was gonna take it back while I was out here for like so like for about two or three months, but I was like, nah, I'll just keep it. Can we uh, speed That's up just a little bit? And I figure that if I, cause like I'm on a, there's like a, they have like a rent to credit program rent where to own yeah you can put like up to fifty percent of like you know towards a new one um, if you've been paying for like um, a year or sixteen months or whatever. Um, so after that point where I can't get any more credit towards a new thing, I should either buy one or decide whether to buy one or just stick to the one I have because then I'm just spending money. Right. right. So it was like one of those things like let's make an investment and then reassess. And it's been, and it's been fun. It's been fun. It's hard only because I can't it's been a while since I have read music. <laughs> it's not hard. I can go over it with you if you like. Not right now because we're, you know, oh, is that right? working. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Yeah. Uh, my my issue is like uh, it, everything's in bass clef, and I'm Sorry? used to treble. Uh, it's just it's just everything's. I know everything's just shifted t down to, like, in positional, but it's just like. It gets me every time. You just need to know your ABCs. I don't. I, I told you. Remember the reading thing? But not even the whole thing. It's just like half of it. The first eight, yeah. <laughs> eight letters. <laughs> <laughs> F A C E. Z Y X W B U T. <laughs> no idea what that means. Yeah, I could do that backwards. That's my hidden talent. <laughs> We have a comment in the chat that they were catching up and watched the push tube sample and said in soil sampl sampling, there is a piston push sampler that creates suction that helps keep soft or non-cohesive soils in the tube. Might work underwater. Thank you for that. Definitely look into it. I'm sure in the deep sea, we're also dealing with different pressures that impact Ooh. that. It's always a fun time here on the Nautilus. Like yesterday, we were like geeking out over uh, over the physics of refraction. That's right. <laughs> was that the ROV flash. team? That was. Uh, that was at lunch. I was everybody. We were talking about the uh, the green oh, flash. Oh yeah, that's right. And how it exists. Ah. Uh, never seen under it. Cer never under never certain seen it, circumstances. I will agree with your logic, your <laughs> physics behind it. <laughs> with my physics. You yes. clearly made up a new form of physics just to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it does exist. I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> four for four. Yeah, not four a myth. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went into like how the bl the brain uh, tricks reality for you to make things consistent. That was fun. Now you can remove like half the. the characters out of like a paragraph and you can still read it yeah not the words characters yeah yeah letters I or rearrange them in, like yeah. as long as the first and the last one are the right ones yeah. you can rearrange them and i love seeing those fonts that help you read faster too it's a lot of fun oh yeah wait what wait they have those <laughs> there's like specific fonts that i've seen before that helps you just pick up on those first couple letters of the word yeah 
like are these the ones that have like darker like bolded letters here and there um i think they were just they appeared to just be taller to me oh. i think the first couple of characters interesting or maybe like the key key letters or, the, or yeah. where the key sounds are it was pretty incredible, though. I was like, whoa, I can read a lot faster like this. Or is it a placebo? I don't know. I find the placebo effect to be weird to begin with. It's like, I think I can read faster, so all of a sudden I'm reading faster? Yeah. Just believe in yourself? I is that what you're saying? I think it's on deck. I think it's on deck. I think it's on deck. <laughs> no. Oh, it didn't work. It's on deck. <laughs> it's just <laughs> 342 meters. 342 meters. <laughs> Away from the surface. <laughs> oh, that's good. Make a song out of everything, huh? Yeah, and they're saying in the chat there's fonts to help with dyslexia too. I've yes, that is true. Well. I've chosen Comic Sans <laughs> as my dyslexia helping. I don't know why everyone makes fun of Comic Sans. Clearly, it's Sans Comic, so. I don't know, I've had <laughs> it's it's no, no fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. Some of my students have handed in their lab reports with Comic Sans and I get irrationally angry about it. <laughs> Would you prefer Comic Sans <laughs> or, or prefer Papyrus? Those, those hieroglyphic Oh my fonts. gosh. Wait, have you Bring seen that SNL papyrus. skit, that SNL skit where yes. Ryan Reynolds is on, going on about how James Cameron <laughs> Oh my gosh. Papyrus as the avatar. Oh my gosh, I absolutely, I was dying. I was crying. I was papyrus. laughing so hard. <laughs> so funny. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Oh my gosh. What is it about, Jane? I missed So, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, it's like this like movie, fake movie trailer about how Ryan Reynolds becomes nice. obsessed with awesome. why James Cameron used Papyrus as the font for the Avatar movies. Oh, so <laughs> awesome. Papyrus. He like <laughs> becomes obsessed with it, follows we'll James see. Cameron around. It's amazing. This will be fun. That's funny. That'll be fine. You can step forward without the bow thruster, right? No. Nope. You can't move forward without a bow thruster. Not Ryan Reynolds, Not Ryan Gosling. GP. Yeah, uh, the, the other Ryan. Yeah. Ken. I did not see the Barbie movie before getting on this ship. Well, you're going to have to do it when yeah. you get back. I don't know. I got kind of sick of the whole marketing. Oh, all marketing. <laughs> is it really? Is it supposed to be good? or? Is I it loved just, it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, said it so is. I've heard it's a little heavy-handed at times. Yeah, but I think that's part of the the beauty of it. I'd fall asleep, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I always do in movie theaters. <laughs> that's I awesome. I do want to see um, I, see I was like, like why? Because the expedition wore you out? <laughs> You're like, no, I always fall asleep in movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they make them very comfortable now. Well, plus the jet lag and the expedition. I'm uh, going to sleep for five days yeah. straight. <laughs> Maybe a week. I haven't been to a movie theater in three years. Yeah. Years. What? I know. It's crazy, right? So hasn't been any COVID thing or something. Oh. Any updates on uh, the whole actors writers strikes? I don't think, right? No. It's still going, and they see foresee it still going. Are you part of the Screen Actors Guild? I am not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. You said you had a history in performing. Sometimes I feel like people I wouldn't expect to be are. Yeah, I, I could see that. But no, I haven't done any acting or any type of writing or anything like that. Would you? Um, if the opportunity it presented be. itself, yeah. I would totally do it. I wouldn't mind doing like community theater if I had like the schedule to do it. I've done it, but I would like in the in twenty twenty three, of course. Not Nothing brings me alive than live theater. Nothing would bring me alive that more than seeing a whale right now. Or a shark. Or anything. <laughs> Fish. Plankton, there you go. How about some marine snow? Yeah. Mm. Submarine snow? Some marine snow. Oh. It's just 
just not as <laughs> not as exciting as jellyfish or no. sharks or fish. Sorry. It's very important, but I did feel bad that the eight to twelve watch was initially going to have just two straight hours of blue water with no bottom time on both bookending yeah. of the yeah. screws. So yeah. I don't mind that, taking that this. Was, that was that that helped. Even though they saw the three Dumbo octopus. Or was that the other watch? I can't remember. Whoa. <laughs> well, now I got to see it. saw three all in one watch, didn't they? Yeah, uh, there was, I think it was two in one, one in the other. Three on I don't one remember. dive, <coughs> isn't it? But yeah. the three, on three on one dive. Three, three on one dive, yeah, but yeah. not all in the same uh, watch. So it was the same one. He's just looping around. Okay. <laughs> Making his rounds. Making his rounds. Could have been. Trying to get off that list of the dangerous list or oh, making sure it's not on it. Sparkly is in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh. That's how you know we're getting close. Oh, that is pretty. It's like glitter in the water. Do you want to um, turn off the lights? Turning off the lights. <laughs> Your lights or my lights? All of them. Uh, going dark. Ooh. Boop. Some bioluminescence. Uh, I thought it was. Kay. Must have been rough. Reflecting. You can come back up. On I the can lasers. see it in the lasers. Uh, I think that's just stuff getting going yeah. in and out of the lasers. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. It's sparkly. Kind of like like static or something. So, what exactly does it mean for this expedition to end in the chat? Um, this current expedition is ending, but that does not mean that we are not having other expeditions this season. So. Just always stay tuned to NautilusLive.org, and those dive updates will be posted. One leaving on September 1st, right? Yep. Quick turnaround. The ship needs food and fuel and water. Lots of uh, stuff to restock. For us, it means we go reunite with our big comfy beds and yeah. our grocery stores. <laughs> After very long fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your strategy for for the flight? Are you guys gonna like try and sleep on the plane or just try and stay awake and go to sleep when you get back to Rhode Island? Or I've embraced Kentucky? the sleep when you need to sleep technique yeah i feel like I'm, it's gonna be i don't sleep well on planes so yeah i don't either I doze off a little here and there but what is that why do you think some people can sleep so well on planes and others can't i don't sleep well on planes either xanax <laughs> <laughs> no sorry <laughs> what is the true a, answer that to that joke. question yeah, yeah. i think yeah. some people are just more restless um low pressure some people are more sensitive to lower pressures i fall asleep easily but I, i'm not comfortable it's not like a deep restful sleep or uh. anything yeah. I used to be really good at being asleep um, on a plane, and it's like a, uh, due to the lower pressure. My head flops over too much. I should get one of those neck pillows. Yeah, again. I think I have like nine of those neck pillows at home, so I'm being a little stubborn. I always forget to bring it. I know. Yeah. It's like, I don't need another and one. And it's like a really good one, too. There was one time, and one time only, where I fell asleep before the plane took off and woke up while it was landing, and nice. that was supreme. I'd say you were probably at a wedding or something the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I might have been just back and forth from college. You need a window seat and you can wedge yourself up yeah. in the Yeah, true. Although, I don't know, I, I wouldn't give up my aisle seat on a long flight. Being able to stand up whenever you need to. Being able to go to the bathroom without having to wake two strangers up. Yeah, I like aisle too. They made their I choices. I front row seat this time. A little front row. Anyone coming back for an, another expedition this year? <sighs> no. Dwight, do you have any more? Yes, I am. Yep. I'm going to be on the mapping leg to Jarvis. So that'll be a lot of mapping. Nice. Do when do is that one? Do uh, do November 19th to December 19th. OK. Yeah. Are, the, are, the, uh, are the cruises going back later and later in the year? Yeah, next year they are as well. Um, the schedule is a little bit driven by ONC because of the weather window for ONC, and then they don't want to do it mid-season mid or something like that. Um, yeah. 
Does it have anything to do with academic schedules because so many people are involved in universities? And Not really. It's more weather windows. Um, like, we went to Kingman Palmyra uh, last year in March, I think, and it was just really bad weather. So that was one of the reasons why we shifted it this year. And we had much better weather. So Well, I was going to say we did have to run away from a large storm. Well, yeah, that was a hard can't do much about hurricanes, but um, generally the summer months and the, sh you know, May, May through October is generally the season for the Northern Hemisphere, no matter where you are. Um, but now that we're going equatorial with Jarvis and Samoa, we could probably shift those dates around and work in the off season. So that will probably happen, maybe not next year, but two years from now, we'll have more cruises in maybe February, March time frame. I would definitely like to come over crossing the crater. That'd be great. What did you say? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I want to take a picture next to it. Yeah, I want to go there. I want to go. I want to be at the line. Do later. Yeah. It, yeah, that's what I hear. One. Can't really see. Are there people on deck yet? Not really. I'm like going super slow. Oh, oh I'll wait for you. I want to go part of the world. Or the, I want to go see the part of the map where like you see the octopus tentacles or the kraken tentacles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanna, that's where I want to go. I want to check that out. Are you confirming that the world is round? Yeah. <laughs> Did you, I don't know if you said that on SPL, but that was funny. Yeah. I didn't hear it. You said round like a pizza. It's round like a pizza, yeah. yeah. I've never seen a picture of it as a sphere. Yeah. <laughs> You've never been to outer space? Yeah, at, at 50. Yeah. See pictures from outer space, it looks kind of pizza-like to me. Still yeah. seems pretty two-dimensional when you print out the picture. Just saying. Yeah. Pretty disc-like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, did you see that... Uh, I saw it on YouTube, it was just a YouTube clip of like two flat earthers who bought a whole bunch of equipment to try and prove that the earth was flat and then they ended up proving that it was round. Yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> that was so funny. And I and remember like, it was like a, there was a, a scientist, there was a scientist out there was like, that is a clever experiment. Like it was because like you shine a light and then you uh, shine it through a hole that at the same height and then, and then, it, and then you have a third target that is, that is, uh, that the light's supposed to shine on, and if it shines on it, then that means that the the the, the world is flat, but it's not. It doesn't. <laughs> it misses the target by you know however much, and then they calculate it, and they're actually calculating the curvature of the Earth. It's really funny. But that's it. Like, I mean, uh, Earth's flat. But that's how. But that's how science <laughs> works, right? That's that's that was curvature a good of the crust. Yeah, like yeah, a, there you go. Yeah. My favorite is well, it's obviously it was made by like a guy who was trolling conspiracy theorists, but the, the birds aren't real. Uh, <laughs> conspiracy is my absolute favorite. Oh, because, is it because like he, uh, they had like a like video of birds or whatever, and they were all doing the same motion? No, it was this guy who he was, he was trying to see if he could come up with like a conspiracy theory that he could get a bunch of followers to actually believe and like basically like satiring um, uh, other conspiracy theories. Yeah. And of course people took it and ran with it that the government built birds to spy on us. It's amazing. <laughs> They're all little robots. <laughs> They're spying on us. Yeah. Oh, that's so. Fun. All those blue uh, or red-footed boobies out there. Are I'm glad you didn't drums. tell me that earlier because I would be looking at these birds a little bit differently yeah. on this expedition. Got to yeah. side eye them. That's why we turn off the lights. <laughs> the other day. Hundred meters. All right. Let's see them. 
We know there's a shark out there. We've been seeing it. Uh, that would be cool. I think we're more likely to see like a sunfish or something. A sunfish? Thanks y'all for a fantastic expedition, it says, and good luck in all of your endeavors in life. Wish Thank you the you. best. Thank, Thank you. Likewise, back to you. Thank you. This has been a fantastic expedition, and we really appreciate you all. So long. Farewell. Do you want us to uh, sign off on a mic back here? Uh, when I go over to dive, which is another 30 meters, but it's up to you. I mean. Well, since this is our actual last watch, maybe I'll just take the opportunity to again say thank you guys for mm -hmm. putting up with me on watch. It's been a really okay. fun time. No, we've had a great time And I uh, really enjoyed our the pleasure. expedition. It was great being out here, and I feel very lucky to be on board. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, same for me, guys. It was an amazing experience. Yeah. 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 Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Your mints and treats <laughs> at 3 in the morning, too, Panos. <laughs> Panos, don't mean the trick. you got to eat raisins to stay up all night. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that uh, south easterly current the boat was taken when it lost its bow thruster. I can't get over. We might yeah. have to get him to crab. Uh, I'm going to continue to try. Can we lower the iris? It's just super bright. I could turn off whatever light is on, too. We want to see what's out there. Also, really quickly, thanks to my mom and my dad who zero just zero. texted me. Aww, <laughs> they're so proud of you. Um, yeah. Well, they texted me to tell them Might to thank them on there. That, <laughs> I changed, I changed mom and dad. They texted you to tell them to say thank you to them. Jane did a great job out here. <laughs> <laughs> out, like, we're very proud of her. We almost had to cancel because she didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that important. <laughs> What are you talking about? Without with no maybe data logger, did the, the data even have it? Yeah, I didn't have even know I was going to be data logger until day two. <laughs> you killed it. Yeah, you did. Well, we awesome always do. Thanks, guys. Okay. Sure. We can always adjust it again if. Uh... Okay. That's fine. Uh. You can slow down. Yeah. Don't come up past. Actually, hold it, hold it 50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to sign off in the back row. Thank you, everybody, again for listening, and we'll see you in the next round. Thanks, Nautilus Live. Thank you. Holding at uh, 50. Technically, it's 49, but... Does this boat have the ability to go stern into the wind? I guess it depends on the strength of this wind. All right, I'm holding it all. Uh, I'll stop five zero. Yes, please. Um, and we're waiting, right? We're not gonna have. Yeah, we're gonna try to wait for you to get over first. Yeah, I'll wait till we get the uh... deck control. Go ahead for a deck. We're all stop on the winch five zero meters, but we're waiting on a ship move before we want to proceed. 
Yeah, that's all I copied. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening right there. Sounds good. Oh, well. Trying to. Been trying to the whole time. I'm not really making any progress, but the boat's coming towards us, so overall it's working. around fast, jeez. It's better. Okay, I think we can continue coming up. Deck control. Go ahead. We're ready up here for you to come up on the winch. For my learning, like so, what do, what do you feel? What's he, what are you feeling right now? Like what's going on? Uh, cross current. Cross current going uh, from uh, Herc starboard to port, so it's going south. South. Okay. And I just I can't fight it because anytime I put in more than one function, one function, the pressure drops. Yeah. It's okay, we're making it work. Yeah.
Uh, can you stop the sonar, please? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to switch over Selvos. Uh, control, uh, Dick. Can you get Herc just to give a kick ahead there? Straighten up Atlanta. Roger. Okay, that looks good. Thank you. Roger. Oh, right between the goalposts. Good job. That's a big thruster. Yeah, it was really cool yesterday because it was on. Spinning? Yeah, it was so cool. Bowls, bubbles everywhere, and not a drop to drink. All right, and Atlanta hooked. Come up. Okay, will do. I do too, yeah. I'll let you know if, I, if I'm struggling. All right, Atlantic comes coming off. Makes me nervous when he's standing in that corner.
What kind of things would we try if you couldn't come around? Like it was, the current was just too hard for you to turn turn over. Um, the current depends on which way it's going. Yeah. Um, in this orientation, because it's actually blowing me into the boat. If the boat was able to, I'd rather have them 180 degrees the other way. Stern into the wind, and the current would be blowing us away from the port aft quarter. I don't know if the boat's able to do that. Another thing we've done in the past is um, boats that have stronger DP, we are able to hold station you know, against the wind, like broadside to the wind. So we just turn and face directly into the current no matter which way the wind's going. And then the, the current's always blowing us away from the ship. And then if we can't come back to the ship, we slowly back the ship up to the ROV. I don't know if this boat's capable of doing that. It's never been a... Been well. Okay. <laughs> Can this boat hold stern into the wind? If it had to? Probably. Oh, where did that come from? Come on, Annabelle. Pull, pull, pull. Maintain position or give a little kick ahead. Roger. Roger. Okay, I'll start. Herc's good. Roger. Okay, starting recovery. It's so weird how, like, the current can be completely different, like, just a few meters down. Oh, yeah. It, to the point where it might be opposite of what it is on, on top. Wash. Oh, let's uh, take this off. There we go. Oh, station, that's her uh, passing, coming up past the transom. Control copies. And bridge copies. Uh, control deck, you can just herc, uh, maintain position there a second. Not with the thruster wash. Doing our best with the thruster wash. Uh, I just, uh, I don't want him, uh, too much slack coming on our lift line. We have a tight there now. Roger. So the thruster wash helped. Awesome. All right. All right, let's hurry under the crane. Coming out of the water. All right, prepping. Control copies. Hello. Soon as we're snubbed. Deck control. High voltage is secure. Just secure. So we actually we're snubs. We're good. If you want to go, you can. I'll wait here.